In this video, we're going to talk about the material setup for an object that we're going to paint on inside of Substance Painter. And so here's the low res object that we're going to be working with. And as you can see, this is made up of two mesh parts. So if I look here in my outliner, I have a top part and I have a bottom part to this object. Each of these parts has its own material. So notice here I have the bottom mesh part selected and it has a material called create underscore bottom. Here I have the top selected and you can see that we have another material, a separate material called create underscore top. It doesn't matter the type of material that I'm using that's irrelevant. What matters is the material IDs that I have assigned to this group of faces. A texture set in Substance Painter is merely a material ID that you set in your 3D program. So if you want to create a texture set in Painter in your 3D program, you just assign a material to a mesh part or a group of faces, and it will create the texture set when you import that object into Painter. Now, the reason that I wanted to utilize two materials is that I wanted to maximize the texel density of my UV layout. As we discussed in the fundamentals video on texel density, Textile density will directly affect the resolution in terms of the texture that's being applied to your object. Now, I could have taken both of these mesh parts and combined them. That would give me one material. And here within the UVs, I could have laid out these UVs so that they all fit within the zero to one space. However, if we take a look at an area such as this bottom part, you can see that it's comprised of some large polygon shapes. And so if I were to have created a UV layout where I had to make all of these larger shapes much smaller in this zero to one space, we would have lowered the texel density a great deal. And thus the amount of pixels that we would then allocate here onto the object itself would be pretty small. And as you can see here, these two UV shells actually are comprised of a pretty large surface area here within this object. And the result of this would be that we get a, a pretty poor quality texture map to this object. So here in this scenario, you can see that by giving this lower object its own material, I have a lot more UV space that I can allocate to my UVs, essentially packing more pixels onto the object when the texture is mapped. Now, in this case, I'm using two materials. So yes, that means I'm going to have more textures. And in terms of optimization, of course, you want to think about your texture memory. However, to get the same quality for this material in UV layout, I would have possibly had to use a larger map, like maybe a 4K map, to get that same quality from the texel density that's provided by this UV layout. So what I'm saying here is that, yes, I'm using more textures, but I can use a lower resolution texture, which is going to be a smaller file size, and get a similar quality as if I were to use just one very large texture. And in some cases, it may be more optimized to use two smaller resolution textures versus one large resolution texture. So in this particular case, I've chosen to use the two different materials purely for the reason of being able to maximize texel density for the textures that I'm going to be applying to this object. 